I'm going to tell you a story about something that happened on this day about 2,000 years ago. Because about 2,000 years ago, Jesus had died. Last week, we heard what a sad thing it was that innocent Jesus was sentenced to death and killed. We also heard that we can celebrate that event, even though it was really sad, because Jesus was dying to take the punishment we deserve for our sins. For the times we say, shove off God, I'm in charge, no to your rules. But you see, 2000 years ago, when Jesus died, his friends didn't realize what Jesus was doing when he died. They had just lost their friend and teacher and they were really, really sad. Well, about 2000 years ago, on the very first Easter Sunday, Jesus had been dead for three days. One of his friends, Mary Magdalene, was so sad. She hadn't slept and her head hurt from the tears she had wept through the night. So before the sun had risen, she got up and she went to go and mourn at the tomb where they had put Jesus when he died. She arrived at the tomb and she saw that the enormous stone that should have been blocking the entrance to the tomb had been rolled away. She didn't know what to do. So many thoughts were running through her mind. Who's moved the stone? Why was it moved? Was Jesus still there? Why have they taken his body away? She was so distressed, she ran and found some of Jesus' closest friends, Simon, Peter and John. When she saw them, she sobbed and cried out, they have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb and we don't know where they have put him. Immediately, Simon, Peter and John ran to the tomb. John got there first and he looked inside, but he couldn't go in. He was so afraid and upset. Then Simon Peter got there and brushing straight past John, he went into the tomb. They both saw that Jesus was gone. Only the cloth that he had been wrapped in remained, folded up and lying there. They didn't know what to do. They stood in that lonely, empty tomb afraid and alone. Outside the tomb, Mary stood crying. And when she looked in the tomb, she saw something white and heard a voice say, why are you crying? Because they have taken him away and I don't know where they have put him, she cried. She turned to run home in despair, but she saw the gardener standing there. She fell to her knees and wept, Sir, she said, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him and I will go and get him. She felt so alone. Later that evening, Jesus' friends, his disciples were meeting together. They had gathered in a room and locked the doors. They were afraid that the same people who had killed Jesus would want to kill them too. They were so afraid because they didn't have Jesus to protect them anymore. They felt so alone. That's such a sad story, isn't it? But you see, I haven't told you that story quite right. In fact, I've missed quite a few details. In fact, this story isn't sad at all. This story is actually the best news ever. So let me just go back and tell it again. And let's see what really happens. You see, Jesus had been dead for three days and Mary did go to the tomb to weep. Jesus really wasn't there and she really did cry. She really did run and tell the disciples he was gone and they really did see the empty tomb, tomb as well. But what I didn't tell you was that the gardener Mary saw wasn't a gardener at all. This is what really happened. She turned to run home in despair, but she saw the gardener standing there. She fell to her knees and wept, Sir, she said, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him and I will go and get him. Mary, said the gardener. She looked up in shock. How did he know my name? Then she saw, it wasn't the gardener at all, it was Jesus. Teacher, she cried. 
Jesus told Mary that he was going to be with his father in heaven and Mary knew that from then on she was not alone. Even if Jesus was up in heaven, he was alive. Jesus was with her again, right there, alive. She wasn't alone. She ran and told the disciples that she'd seen him and gave them his message. Later that evening, Jesus' friends, his disciples, were meeting together. They had gathered in a room and locked the doors. They were afraid that the same people who had killed Jesus would kill them too. But you see, something amazing happened then that I didn't mention before. You see, suddenly, even though they were in a locked room, Jesus appeared with them. And he said, have peace. Don't be afraid. They didn't need to be afraid. Jesus was there with them. And then Jesus said, I'm giving you my Holy Spirit which meant that they would never be alone and would always be with Jesus, even when he went up to heaven. You see, Mary Magdalene and the disciples, they all felt so alone when Jesus died. They all thought that Jesus dying meant he was gone forever. But then Jesus came and he said, you will never be alone. I am always here. Isn't that such good news? definitely worth celebrating and it really is worth celebrating because it means that we are never alone too if we trust that jesus really did die for our sins on good friday and accept his forgiveness then we too are never alone and we have given the holy spirit jesus is always with us how amazing and what good news to celebrate on easter sunday